everybody, welcome to an itty bitty bite of beautiful. I'm your host Dorian Skioka from GenkiStamper.com and today I'm going to show you how to distress and antique your paper to give it a really nice look. So I have a couple examples right here. On this one you can see where I have distressed the edges of the paper um, to make them kind of look old and torn. And on this one I've done the same thing but on the on the edges right here. Um, and throughout my card. And I also like to antique, so I give it kind of a darker edge that makes it look older um, and just really pretty and interesting. So I'm going to show you how to do that because it's actually very simple. So I'm just going to take a piece of cardstock here, and it could be like a background piece um, or it could be like a, a designer series paper. And I'm going to antique it first by using some early espresso ink and my sponge. I'm just going to dab it on there, dab, 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 and then I'm going to antique it. And here's how I do that. I'm going to start off of the paper. I'm going to start off of the cardstock onto my background paper here, and I'm just going to start making circles and then go on the edges slightly, okay? And just continue to do that all the way around on all four corners. And I like to start on the corners first and then work my way towards the center. I don't want to go all the way into the paper, into the middle of the paper. I want to stay on the outside as much as I can so that it, it looks like it's aged. I don't want the whole paper to look old. I just want the edges to look old. Okay. So now I've antiqued my paper. It looks older. And now I'm ready to distress it. So I'm going to use my Stamping Up Distressing Tool and I'm just going to um, put the paper in next to the razor blade and I'm just going to pull. Okay. Now I like it when I get little um, dips like that where it's cut out. You can even tear it even farther if you like and it's okay. It's okay to tear up your paper. People get so worried and nervous and oh no I ripped it. No you didn't. It looks old. It looks great. So that's what you need to do. So go all the way around and it's going to make a little bit of a mess. You see I've got a little bit of a mess here on my paper and that is okay. Wipe it off. Not a big deal. Okay. So now my paper is antiqued. It's distressed. It is ready to be stamped on or put some designer series paper on top of and be part of a beautiful, beautiful card. So that is my itty bitty bite of beautiful for today. Don't forget, go to GenkiStamper.com for all of these tools inks, more tutorials, and classes. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.